Hey guys, I've been getting questions from you asking me why I use spectra and what's the difference between spectra and monofilament. So here's the basic difference. Monofilament stretches. It just stretches a lot. It's basically a rubber band and it stretches a lot when you're fishing deep water or your line's a long distance from the boat, say 300 feet away or 300 feet deep of water. This just stretches a lot and if you try to just set the hook on the fish, you're not going to do any good. Are you going to just let the fish know you're there and it just stretches. The big difference between monofilament and spectra is spectra does not stretch at all. It's all these little fibers sewn together and it's just really, really strong and it's super thin too. This is 85 pound spectra in my hand right here and it's just so much thinner than what 80 pound mono would be. And in the old days when I was growing up, this is what we used to use to go fish for 100 pound tuna, 200 pound tuna. It was all a big old pin like this filled with 80 pound mono and then 100 pound liter or more on top of this. But uh, thanks to Spectra, the reels that you see today, the Accurates, the Pins, the Avids, all those different reels, the Kumas, the small two speeds are all because of the invention of Spectra line. Because of Spectra, you can put 80 pound test Spectra, 100 pound test Spectra on a small reel and on top of that, put your monofilament on top of that to fish with. So it, that's why we don't fish with these big monster reels anymore. And those of you that are really young, just getting into fishing, you're lucky. These were heavy to fish all day long, fly line to lie bait and hope you got bit and then had a heavy rod too. And the whole graphite rods and the lighter rods, we can talk about that about another day. But the big difference about spectra line and monofilament, this is 80 pound monofilament. You can see how thick and heavy this is. And this is 85 pound spectra, how thin it is. And because it's so thin, you can put hundreds and hundreds of yards of this spin, of this really thin spectra on a small reel and then still put 50 pound or 40 pound monofilament on top of that. And you'll be able to fish for those big fish, 50 pound, 100 pound tunas with a much smaller reel than what I grew up with, these big monster reels. So that's a big difference. Uh, monofilament is going to stretch a lot, but I like having monofilament on top of my spectra because I want a little bit of stretch and then the spectra isn't going to stretch a lot and it's part of the reason that I do put monofilament on top of my spectra because I want a little bit of that rubber band effect and I really don't want to tie a line or a hook straight to the spectra. One is this will never break and the other thing I'd be afraid to pull the hook out of the fish because there's no stretch with this. And with a little bit of mono or fluorocarbon on there you get that stretch it's a little bit safer at finding a nice fish that you don't pull the hook out don't rip it out so that's the difference if you have any more questions about spectra don't be afraid to leave your comments down below if you have other subjects you'd like to see me do uh, video blogs on just list that down there too there's a couple of others that you guys mentioned i'll be getting to those soon thanks for watching today's video blog and don't forget to subscribe right here on my youtube channel i'll talk to you again really soon Thank you for watching.